I'm Shannon Thrasher, and this is 30 Second Tactics. Today we're going to talk about what's called sight offset. Uh, with your uh, rifle system, of course the AR is going to be the most common patrol rifle and home defense rifle around right now. Whether you're running uh, traditional iron sights, flip up iron sights, backup iron sights, whatever you want to call them, or an optic, whether it's a single power or no magnification red dot, or it's a big you know, so-called sniper scope or something in the middle, like this uh, 1x6 Vortex Strike Eagle. Vortex does not sponsor me, but this is an amazing scope and amazing price. You should get one. Uh, you're welcome, Vortex. Uh, sight offset is the simple fact, and I hope I'm getting this on the camera good for you guys, that the line of sight of your scope or your sights is not the same line of sight as the bore. You know, your bullet is leaving approximately, every gun's going to be different, it's important for you to know this, every mount and every system, your bullet's going to be approximately two and a half inches lower than what you're looking through your sights or your scope. Now, 50, 100, 200 yards, that may not be a difference. But do we always shoot the AR at long distances? Or just sometimes, are we coming around a corner in a, in a, in a clearing a house as a, uh, a, clearing a building as a police officer or clearing your own house as a private citizen? Um, you know, it might be a, a five foot engagement. We might come around the corner and guy's got a hostage or it's a crowd or it's some kind of crazy active shooter thing where there's good people two inches away from bad people. So that two and a half inch difference is a big difference. Now, if I'm the distance I am from the camera, which is less than five feet, and my scope is perfectly right on the camera lens, the muzzle, if I fire that round, the shockwave is probably going to knock the camera off the tripod, but the bullet's going to actually pass under the camera and not even hit it. So you need to know, you need to get your rifle with your scope out on the range and, you know, practice what is your point of impact versus your point of aim at, you know, one yard, 10 yards, 15 yards. Generally speaking, of course, every weapon system is different. Generally speaking, at about 15 or 20 yards, that'll stop making a difference. So the side offset will be correcting itself. And that depends on where your weapon's zeroed, if it's zero to 25 or 50 or 100. But up close under 15 yards, with just about any zero, you're going to see a significant difference. Like I said, it could be as much as three inches off. And again, if you're shooting a bad guy in the face because he's got your wife or daughter, you know, crunched up in that classic hostage situation, three inches is a big difference, right? Whether it's left, right, up, or down. So again, just remember your side offset. Um, if you want a uh, dramatic example of, of how this works in the real world, there's lots of videos online on YouTube uh, showing guys that think they know what they're doing and they're laying across the hood of their car out in the desert on their little weekend shooting trip and they go bang 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 looking through the sights and all of a sudden they put three holes in the, in the hood of their car because they didn't realize their bullets you know going three inches lower than their scope or their iron sights so those are fun videos to watch uh, they always make me cringe because i wonder what else they did before the camera was rolling and how unsafe they've been but uh always keep that in mind um Especially, you know, like I said, the AR platform is the most common nowadays and uh, running optics on it is becoming very common, especially a magnified optic where you're getting a different view of the world through the scope and it's really going to pull your mind away from what's happening 5, 10 feet in front of you as far as the hood of the car or any other cover you're trying to shoot over. Um, so just keep that in mind. Like I said, go out to the range with your own system and shoot those different distances and see where your side offset is affecting your point of aim slash point of impact. All right, that's all I have for you today, guys. As always, I'd really appreciate a like, a share, subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know what you want to hear as far as future videos. Just throw it down in the comment section. And as always, work, train, and repeat. Y'all stay safe.